We're speaking with Ellen Middaw, who is the Research Director of the Civic Engagement Research Group at Mills College, about DML 2013. And uh, Ellen, I want to just start off by asking what you think of the, the role of educators and mentors ought to be in regard to youth and civic engagement. Mm -hmm. So I think we're still in the process of really figuring that out, but we're starting to see um, educators. I think one question is really how can educators take advantage of technology in supporting youth civic engagement? So how is um, how are new media literacies and new media practices really extending the goals of civic education and how they're changing them? Um, and I think we're seeing increasingly that youth need support for thinking about how to use um, media strategically for their civic engagement and educators can play an important role in supporting youth and thinking about the effectiveness of their practices. Um, well, you, you mentioned new literacies. Uh, how can educators take advantage of new technologies and, and youth media enthusiasms um, sure. in, in fostering civic engagement? Mm -hmm. So what we're seeing is, um, I think one of the things that educators really grapple with is how to bring um, civic engagement to life in constrained, time-limited settings. And um, so we're seeing some really interesting uses of video games and simulations, which can help you capture the complexity of social issues in a time-limited fashion. So you can play around with um, different scenarios. And also... Um, social media is really helping bring that sense of community beyond the classroom so you can participate in large-scale efforts which normally would take a huge amount of time for educators to organize to bring youth to the community and so we're seeing some use of social media um, to help connect to larger causes and to other classroom communities. Uh, so how, how can schools be productive partners with educators and, and mentors in, in fostering civic participation? participation by youth? So what we're doing right now is um, uh, some of the work our group is doing is working with some teachers in Oakland Unified to think about what kinds of supports do their students need um, in thinking about finding and curating information, um, thinking about the consequences of um, what they're putting online in terms of voicing their perspective. So really thinking through not just how do I put what I believe out there, but how do I think a few steps ahead for, of how this information is going to be used. And so I think educators have a lot of life experience in terms of trying to make change, and so helping you think about um, their practice is an important task. Any, anything you want to say about what you're looking forward to in regard to DML 2013? Yes, um, I am very much looking forward to seeing some great examples of youth programs and teachers working with youth to support their engagement. There was a lot of great youth energy at last year's conference, and um, I think the conference is doing a really nice job of trying to bring together a diverse set of um, researchers, practitioners, and youth, so I'm excited to see that energy again. Yes, I was excited to see some young people actually presenting last year, and, and I'm sure that will happen again. Yes, that's the goal. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ellen. Thank you. Take care.